Yeah, it's me. We got Scuttle Puddle. What is that? Too much candy? What is that? Why is it blue? Why is it blue? I'm going for it. You kidding me? Two of these dudes? Two of these dudes? This is... This should be a, a fast track to, to three-star Kobuko. Why was it all blue? I mean, now it's one, so like, I'm, I'm even tempted to, to roll a little bit at the end of this stage, too. If I was like one off, I would do it in a heartbeat. Fable dog vent? What is that? What is a fable dog vent? What does that mean? It's just a super powerful augment. So, like, I found a super powerful augment, and the game is telling me that I'm awesome for it. That's pretty cool. They have the special borders. So, I lucked into a super powerful augment for this tier. Okay. I got you. Mortog says it's probably the most broken augment in the set. Crazy. Honestly, I would agree. I would agree. This is like... That's insane. Another Kobuko? I can, I can hold off for a little while. I can, I can just keep the, uh, the normal Kobuko going. The normal two-star. Because, like, what if I don't hit, right? Because right now, technically, I'm generating more than I would have if it was a, uh, if it was a... Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm better off waiting. I'm better off waiting. Oh, uh, this guy's got Fortune Crest, too. A couple of people trying to play Fortune. Poor guys. And he's trying to, trying to cheese it too, using the fortune crest cheese, where the uh, the luck, the luck tree only shows up if you actually activate it. That's such a shame, because they're big braining it too. We want. Probably, ooh, the Kobuko, though. Kobuko with, with the D-Claw? Yeah, let's do it. We're cooking. We are cooking. Now, I think at this point, it's worth rolling for it. Because it's only, it only costs one to re-roll right now. So I think it's still worth. Let's do it. Come on. Kobuko, please. Kobuko, please. Kobuko, please. <laughs> now it's back up to two. No! Oh, goddammit, I got trolled. I got trolled. 
I got super trolled. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, well, I mean, I'm basically guaranteed it after this. Basically guaranteed it. Kind of ruined my econ a little bit, but that's okay. We have Scuttle Puddle coming up anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll get it back. We'll get it back. Give me the Kobuko. What's this? Free rerolls for this round? Yeah? Kobuko time? Please? Hey, there's the Kobuko! Let's go. We got it. He says, life is good. I agree. Life is very good right now. I'm also two off of the uh, off of the Rexi. This guy's a better bruiser, I think. Go go go, boo go. So he heals based off of his eight off of his AP, not his HP. But his D claw does heal off of his HP. So this guy's gonna start stacking up like crazy, especially after we have the scuttle puddle. Give him some some uh, some good stuff back. Bah. Now give me lucky paws next. Give me lucky paws. Can we bop him? No, we can't bop him. We could play um, we could play kindred on this though. Each enemy death. Does this count as an enemy death? Also, if we get like mulched, mulched, and then like a, then like a dryad emblem for him, that'd be pretty cool. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Alright, not bad, not bad. We have Kindred. Now we can level, we can roll just a tiny bit here too. I don't think we need I don't think we want this. We might though, we might. We didn't really hit this stage, huh? We didn't really hit. So we can go red buff, jewel gauntlet on her. That should help a good amount. Oh, I should have put in the other bruiser. I'm a little bit stupid. Come on, Kindred. Make it work, make it work. Help me through my stupidity, please. We have anti-heal. No! Okay. Yeah, I need to put in the bruiser again. We also didn't hit any wreck size, which is a little sad. Golden remover? Team building. I want something that gives me money, though. Item grab bag, cyber bulk. Cyber bulk's pretty good. We're not really spending money on our eh, Pandora's items, honestly. Pandora's items, yeah. Give us a component, and then we'll just work through this. All right, so let's let's take out the let's take out the Nar. Nar is not important here. It says enemy champion, does it? it says each enemy death. It doesn't say each enemy champion. I guess that's, I mean, I guess neutrals aren't enemies, but. 
All right, so I think that we just want to play like the full, the, like the full perfect tank build, Kobuko. I think that we want to do like Warmog's Bramble Declaw. We could do Warmog's Steadfast Bramble and that, or Warmog's Steadfast Declaw. Yeah, no, it, it it doesn't it doesn't count it. I checked it. It it doesn't work, but but still. Oh my goodness, the trick shot. Please. Please. Yeah, the bard's a little nuts. The bard's a little nuts. He's got his gun blade. How much did the bard heal that game? 1800? Sheesh. Next player combats, next four player combats, Yasuo grants 200 temporary health to units that start in the back three rows. Okay. So then we'll activate Ghostly with Kane. Activate Ghostly with Kane, right? Honestly, probably worth the HP saved by dropping to 20 and then doing this. Then we activate Ghostly. Then we activate... Yeah, it's, that, that, that seems good. That seems good. I don't think this is going to be a Kindred game, though. Don't think it's going to count it. I think we'll be fine. 200 HP when you're playing Bruisers, though, is significant. Very, very significant. Especially since you're playing Dryads, too. We have Reapers, which means that she gets more crit damage on her spells. Cool. This is exactly how I wanted it to go. Ghostly activates, and then they get more damage on them, too because of the ghostlies. The little ghosty boys. Just a little guy. So we probably want the cane here. We're second out. Please don't take cane. Gracias. Gracias. My cane, my cane. Moin, moin. Yeah, but I think we we honestly prioritize Kobuko here. We could prioritize Kane. That could be worth, because Kane is kinda broken. Kane is kinda borked in. Then we would have to take we would have to remake this jewel gauntlet though. Um Is Purple Buff good on Kindred? Is it worth a slam on Kindred is mostly my question. I have two canes, so I'm thinking that it's probably not worth. It's probably not worth. Probably not. I mean, we could stack up the, the Dryad, though. We could always re-roll it if we, if we don't like it. Yeah, let's re-roll it. Let's let's just let's just go for it. We could do, do two D claws too. I mean the the fact that she's just casting after she's kind of getting mana locked sometimes. Hmm. Don't get me wrong. I mean it's great. Just not exactly what I'm looking for. Blue buff is bugged on her? Interesting. Is that why she, she's getting like mana locked for a moment? Upgrade your next two cost champion or gain gold. Well, got you. That's fine then, that's okay. We really gotta keep our uh, our money high, though. This Kobuko needs to needs to scale a little bit more. I want him to get to a point where he's getting um, 100 HP every single round. If we had Hedge Fund, though, man, Hedge Fund would go crazy with this guy. 200 HP every single round. Mm.
I mean, it still looks pretty okay. You're still getting the extra damage. It doesn't look bad. Looks pretty decent. We're getting, we're kind of low rolling on our uh, Pandora's items though. Is Annie worth? No, I don't, I don't see any reason that Annie would be worth it. Also, we slam the vest here. I'm thinking it's probably going to be Steadfast. I think that Steadfast Heart is honestly better than Bramble Vest. I mean, Bramble Vest does give you extra base HP though, or extra like percentage HP. So maybe it's better on Bruisers. Okay, there's a there's a two-star Kindred. Let's, let's go the Bramble. Let's go the Bramble. I don't think that we are rolling here. I think that we're honestly going to save this until we're later on in the stage. Because even though it would be nice to three-star a Rek'Sai, it's not important. Three-starring Kindred, also not important. What is important is two-starring Arcane, finding, like, Galio, stuff like that. That's important. Yeah, Kobuko has 4,300 HP so far. If we get six Bruiser in, then he goes even harder. Honestly, I wouldn't even be opposed to, like, Bruiser Kane if I can find the emblem. Oh my god. That was, that was really close. <laughs> Reinforcement? I mean... Crown Guarded? No. Ascension could have been okay. I think it's Reinforcement. And then we wait until we see a cane. I think that's the play. And we'll, honestly, we should we should just go into another another Rek'Sai. That should be a thing. Cane's pretty good too. Like just as just as a. Oh wait, I think that, yeah, Yasuo's thing is already done, so we gotta move them back up. And then we'll just plop a cane on this side as well. We want to go one more bruiser. Probably gonna be Galio, and then we'll also plop in the, uh, the Umbral. The trick shots are a little bit a little bit sad. Hey yo. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So we're going eight. As soon as we go eight, that's when we're going to be uh, using our rolls. Do we go the ghostly sage though? It helps slow the combat down and these items are pretty good on her. Instead of going Reaper, we could re-roll the, the blue buff as well. But we are stacking up the Dryad. Nah, I think that we're gonna I think that we're gonna risk it just for the just for the, the next two star cane. I think that that's the play. I think we gotta wait for the cane. I want to hit three star cane. I I almost hit three star cane that one game. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay. Revan's pretty tanky. Not quite as tanky as my bruisers, but pretty tanky. Could get the Wukong for.
get the Lissandra. Honestly, Lissandra just seems like a good unit. We could just splash the Lissandra in instead of this, instead of this Kindred. Because do we really need the Reaper? I mean, we could get, we could just, we just plop her in. We don't even need to itemize her. We could itemize her, though. That guy would be cool. Maybe we take out Reaper for the moment? Maybe we take out Reaper for the moment and we just plop this girl in. Warmogs here is huge. Let's see how we do with, with just putting her in. Just putting her in. Oh boy. I don't know if this is a good example. Unless this guy can't get through my front line, which is also entirely possible. You know? It is entirely possible. Hopefully Kobuko doesn't get to execute range. That's the only time that I would be a little afraid. Okay, I don't think he is going to get to... Oh wait, Yone. Damn. This guy doesn't have the, uh, the shovel augment though. Midnight Siphon? That's okay. We still did pretty okay. We don't need three star Nar, so we'll buy this. Wait. And then we want to. Is Kindred falling off though? Probably. Probably is. We could just plop the Nar in instead. Let's plop the Nar in instead for Dryad. We'll do this, we'll do this. And then we'll roll this blue buff. I mean, it's still pretty okay. You get the damage. You get an earlier cast. I'm kind of down for it still, honestly. We could pre-level and then we can roll at 8. Then we get some extra money from just having Lissandra. Yikes. The trick shots. Okay. Is that me? That is me. Hello. Pandora's items with, with her is so good. I also haven't made use of, of my uh, of my augment yet. Of the past. Okay. Silas? Alright. Alright. We go six bruiser. Is it it might be worth to just plop these items on Silas, honestly. Then we go Umbral. Crown Guard, Archangels. Crown Guard, Archangels. Blue buff, maybe? Just Crown just crown Guard, double Archangels? That seems pretty okay, actually. Alright, so we go... Archangels. Archangels. Crown Guard. That seems pretty good. Then we need to drop the Riven. Maybe we go 9 before we start rolling. Get another Augment, or another uh, component. Okay, alright. Go Silas, go. Yeah, we need to get Umbral in. <laughs> Honestly, remove the, remove the Lissandra after we get one more item component. And then we'll then we'll plop in Umbral. Cause this guy's going crazy. This is necessary. Three star Rexai. It's about damn time. Alright, so I think that the play here is level this guy in. That is a better one. 
You know, then we can just do this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we have Umbral. We have Bruiser. This guy's stacking up AD like crazy. Alright. 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 We're cooking. Alright. We are, in fact, cooking. Another one of these. Another one of these. And then we play this instead? So that way we start printing more Silas's? It's broken? I found the cheat code? And then stage six will definitely hit. I gotta remove... Uh, Tom Kench or something, though. Probably Riven, honestly. And then the Hue is just absolutely insane as far as damage is concerned. Oh my god! And then the Kobuko just blocks infinite damage from this dude. He blocked 8,500 from, from the Udyr. go Huey, we could go Steadfast Heart. Adaptive Helm is also really good, though. Okay. Alright, neither, ne neither. Neither. It's fine. Never mind. Just heck me, I guess. Actually, do I have Shred? I don't think I have any Shred. Shred would be huge here. So we just put the, the, the Shred on set. Also, right now, the uh, Rexi says 2100. Man, I really hope this guy Terra loses so he can queue up again. True! Honestly, you're so right. You're so, so right. Alright, so let's plop the spark on Rek'Sai. This set guy's already got 42% AD, and then he just squatted them and got 66. Jeez! Go, go, go! Rek'Sai did the most damage for a little while? That's insane. Rek'Sai with just an Ionic Spark is, is nuts. Go, 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 go. Go! Blam! How much, how much AP did he end that fight with? 500? Alright. Well, if I three-star him, then that's a different story, right? He should just, like, instantly win. What's this encounter? Ash reveals your next opponent? Okay. Honestly, I think I kind of have to roll for it. This guy has one Silas. Anyone else have any Siluses whatsoever? No, nobody has any more Silas's, which means that it is time for me to roll. This guy goes in over this guy. There's another Silas. Alright, two star Huey. That's worth. That's worth. We're waiting. I think our positioning's fine here. We sell these. We sell this. We have five Galios as well. And then Huey bursts. Oh my god! The Silas does so much damage! He's such a cool unit, this set. 
AP Bruiser carry. He's so cool. And then we have the big boy crab. Then we have the big boy crab. Does that guy uh, have any more Silas's? He does not have Silas's. He's looking for three star Aloon. Okay, he actually he sold the he sold the Silas. He's no longer contesting. Okay. All right, we can hit. We can hit. Uh, that's actually that was uh, that was bad move by me. I should have bought the other dude. This dude. That's who I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Give me Silas. Give me Silas. Give me Galio. I take any of that. Sure. Adaptive Helm, maybe. Then Thieves Gloves. Alright, so then we'll do Adaptive Helm on the Rek'Sai. And then we'll do Thieves Gloves on the Azir. Those are bad items. I thought you were supposed to get decent items at the at the end of the stage. At the end of the game. Come on. Do big things. Don't let me lose. Don't let me lose. We're so close. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Oh my god, that's so that's so much. One HP. <gasps> Let's go. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Come on. I'm coming for you. No One more Silas. Okay, my rerolls just got way more expensive. Let's just remake the Azir. Let's remake the Azir. And then we are going to just plop this on set instead. Alright, 141. Final amount for set is 166, which gives him 183 AD at, two, at one star. This way is no longer doing anything for me, because there's no way I'm surviving uh, four rounds. Maybe? Possibly? Oh! Damn. One more for Silas. One more for Silas. Come on. He doesn't have any, right? Nobody's holding them. Nobody's holding them. Please. Damn. Damn. I need to move the set over is is the is the big thing here. Got to move the set over so that he hits the That's what I got to do. Move the set over so that he hits the volley bear. Udyr is not on my way. Interesting. He chose to put it back there. Okay. Okay. I think I'm honestly, I think I'm okay this fight. Because my... Oh no. He's on my back line! No! No! God damn it. GG. Never lucky. I'm always so close to hitting the three star four cost. It's insane. All right, well, those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow me on Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys.